Hello everyone! In this video, I will walk you through a live backtesting session conducted yesterday with our clients. Together, we will explore the uniqueness of our fair value gap indicator, which our bot uses to take trades automatically. This session showcases how we use EG tools to make better trading decisions and refine trading strategies. Whether you're looking to understand the mechanics of automated trading tools or optimize your trading approach, this video is packed with actionable insights. Remember, all the content shared here is for educational purposes only, designed to help you better understand our trading tools and strategies. Now, let's dive into the live action and see our FVG bot in action with our FEG indicator. I hope you enjoyed the session. What I'm going to do is download historical data on Fridays. To do so, I had to go to connections and then playback. Let's do it again. So connections and playback connection. Here, I'm um, choosing the NQ instrument. And the date, let's take for now uh, the 29th and download. Okay. So um, it downloaded uh, 29th, November 29th. So uh, I'm picking uh, November 29th, and this is NQ. And when I'm pressing the play button, I can do it faster. I can see the NQ, NQ's candles. This is 15 minute uh, time frame. And I can go and pick another time frame, like uh, the one minute. Can move slower. Can look at the candles like this or like this, like this or like this. This time zone uh, is uh, Eastern New York. Okay, so this way I'm running uh, the market, the playback on NQ. Okay, now I can pause it. I can go backward. It may take some time for Ninja to load the historical data and I can go forward. Okay, I have a few messages here. <laughs> Five minutes for NQ is risky. Yeah, okay. I'll answer in a minute your question, Ioannia. I just want to finish uh, the demo. Okay, now let's attach the fair value gap indicator into the chart. Okay, the fair value gap indicator has several settings. Right now, uh, the optimization with trigger point is checked, but the trigger point is not attached to my chart, so let's leave it unchecked for now. And I want the analyzing the multi time frame functionality. I want uh, to check it also, and that's it. Okay, so these are all the fair value gaps multi time frame. So there are many of them. There can be also red and green um, because it analyzes one minute and 15 minute. And um, what else can we recognize here? Okay, they are stacked since they are not optimized. That's the idea. Uh, there is a five minute time frame, one, 15. Okay, so this is how it looks when it's not optimized with the trigger point. And let's see how it looks when I'm running it. Oh, 
okay? Um, the fair value gap has filled, so it disappeared. You can pick an option telling the indicator not to hide fill the fair value gap, but I, but I don't like it. I want the indicator to hide the fair value gaps after they're filled. Okay, let me remove the sound because we're running many, many tests. It's going to be annoying. Okay, so again. So this is the fair value gap indicator when not optimized using our trigger point. Now let's see what happens when I'm attaching the trigger point. For the same date, which is November 29th. So here are the levels. Let's move to five minutes so you can see it better. Okay, you can see the same fair value gaps regardless of the time frame presented on, on your chart. This is the idea of this indicator. It's capable of analyzing multiple time frames regardless of the time frame presented on your chart. Now you can see there are many, many, many fair value gaps here. This is a support zero trigger point and resistance zero and resistance one. So right now, this indicator does not utilize the trigger points to filter out the FVGs. So what I'm going to do is to pick the optimization option. Then I'm pressing OK. And then look what happened. Only one or even two. Two fair value gaps are left. Why? Because the other fair value gaps that you've seen here and here did not align with the trigger point. So the trigger point filters out the, fa the fair value gaps that do not align with the levels. That's, that's the beauty about the combination. In a second, I will run the bot, but I just want to show you how it looks. So again, we attach the fair value gap regardless of the time frame it presented many many fair value gaps because it's multi time frame and then when i attach the trigger point and i uh, picked the um uh, the optimization option only one fair value gap or two in this case are left those that are aligned with the trigger points Now I'm running it. And another fair value gap for a long position was generated here, aligned with the trigger point. If the market retests this level, it's a good opportunity to take this breakout, the long trade, if it retests. Okay, it retests uh, um, many times. In this case, I don't remember. I think it didn't. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. So regarding the time frame, to me, it doesn't really matter. 
especially with the fair value gap that is multi time frame, I only take my trades off the trigger points. And by using the fair value gap indicator as a confluence indicator, I'm taking my trades off the trigger point aligned with the fair value gap, just like you saw beforehand. Okay, um, and th this indicator um, is doing many, many things in the background to, to compute multi fair value gaps. So it might uh, be running uh, slow on a backtest, but it's correct. Okay, so if you remember, um, right after the market just uh, went out up. Okay, so yeah, so the fair value gap that you saw here was a good long opportunity. Now you can see that the market went up. So there were beautiful trades here of the fair value gap gaps aligned with the trigger point. You will see the bot, how it performs. And another long, long opportunity here. So look, look at this, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, long. Another long on the retest and another long on the retest. The market uh, touched this level and then it went back. I don't think it broke res zero again, but three long opportunities of the trigger points, minimum risk here and here aligned with the fair value gaps. Any questions so far? Okay, each time I'm moving the uh, market replay, Ninja needs to recalculate. Yeah, I can use the 240. I think uh, it's not enabled in this case, but I can. Yeah, daily, weekly, monthly. Um, yeah, of course. But when there are too many fair value gaps, I'm looking at uh, the conjunction between two of them. If there's a, a high time frame, when it's aligned with a lower time frame, especially when they are aligned with the trigger point. So this is a good uh, confluence. Um, exactly. Yeah. You're talking about the breakout, right? So yeah. Uh, this is, a, uh, I like the fair value gap indicator because um, for traders who trade the first touch rule, this is, you know, uh, then he stop out. But the fair value gap confirms that this level turned into support. And, and here also, here the first touch uh, rule um, worked, worked, but then it broke and the fair value gap confirmed that this level turned into support. Yeah. So these are three, at least three opportunities. Mm -hmm. And if we consider the first touch rule, so this is a good opportunity also. There was another one here, and this is a bad trade on first touch rule that you stop out. Um, what else? So you saw that each time I'm moving the market replay, the ninja needs to recalculate everything. So it takes some time for uh, the indicator to present whatever it needs to, but uh, when you run live, there's no, there's no issue with this. It's just with the market replay. Okay, so patience, but then eventually it will present. Okay, now let's see how the bot performed. Okay. So this is the fair value gap bot. On NQ, during our back testing, in all our videos, except for one, I think, 
we put 40 ticks for NQ and the trailing stop. Now, the trailing stop is influenced by, by the time frame. Okay, it's not time frame agnostic. This means that um, it will be better. Let's check. It will be better if you pick the one minute time frame. It does not influence the entries, but it does influence the uh, trailing trailing frequency. Okay, so let's run the bot with on one minute time frame and on five minute time frame. So I'm starting slowly, ensuring that everything is presented. Now the bot is running, but the bot doesn't take any trades since there are no fair value gaps. Although, as you can see, there is a short opportunity here on, uh, on the trigger point, but no fair value gap, no trades. Okay, now we're getting close to the trigger point. Now it's important to, to run it slowly, otherwise the ninja misses the trades. Okay, so what you saw, it took a long trade here, it trailed to break even, it got it stopped out, took another trade because the fair value gap is still here. And now it trails the stop loss. Hopefully it won't stop. Okay. Okay, good. There was another opportunity. Okay, you can see how I'm playing with the um, velocity because I don't want Ninja to uh, to miss the trades of our tr of the trigger point. But if the market is between the levels, I'm running it a little fast because I don't expect any trades. Um, okay, how do you have your stop loss move up? So the stop loss trails its stop loss. Uh, the stop loss is trailing following the EG trailing stop. Okay, but the break even is done before the trading stop indicates it based on the volatility of the asset. Every asset has its own break even rule embedded in the in the bot. Uh, which profit type? Nothing. I mean, here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm putting the profit. Um, up there, I don't care about it. I only care about the trailing stop. Okay, but it's important when you, uh, when during backtesting, when you expect the bot to take trades like here, you need um, to run it a little slow the playback to ensure that Ninja doesn't miss miss the trade. And of course, on, on live trading, during the live trading, uh, there's no issue about it, of course. Okay, and by the way, this, the bot doesn't trail exactly to break even, but one tick above to cover the commission. Okay, yes, yeah. so backtesting um, consumes time. If you want to do it properly, it consumes time, but I think it's worth it. If there is a specific day in the past that you want to explore to understand how exactly it trades, I think it's a great, uh, it's a great uh, technique. So the fair value gap indicator, what I like about it is that it indicates a true breakout. Then 
for traders who uh, trade the first at rule, if he uh, stops out, then he has another opportunity to get the money back. You mean, yeah, next fair value gap and next trigger point. So, you know what? Let's run it. Let's, let, let's run it. Let's move backward. Let's, let's take the five minute time frame. And let's, um, okay, I'm taking it out. Okay. Politics. And next trigger point. Let's see what it does. So what, uh, it places the profit target on the next trigger point. In this case, you will see it in a minute. And it makes sense, right? Because there's a high probability for the market to reverse. Okay. It makes sense to put the, um, the profit target here, right, guys? Do you agree with me? Fixed. And profit on next trigger point. So there will not be a trailing stop here. And let's see what happens. Okay, now it's getting close to the trigger point. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's hard. It's not very easy to look at this, but the stop loss is not moving. <laughs> yeah, but don't do it, guys. Don't do it. <laughs> I mean, at least to trail, to break even. I, I mean, but you are so stupid sometimes. Now, it placed a profit target here, right? And it makes sense. It makes sense. <sighs> okay, now it bounced off, off and another long opportunity here. So it makes sense to place the profit target on the next trigger point. Yeah, um, any other questions about the fair value gap indicator, backtesting, bot, money printing machines? Right. It's not only about the settings, it's only it's also about the way you know you you're running the playback. You should be a little sensitive, understanding that each time you are moving this cursor, the indicators should recalculate. And some cases that the ninja is moving very, very slow. Yeah. Now, what happens if I load previous days? Let's see. I'm curious. Oh, my God. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow.
Okay, the golden lies are, are the previous day's trigger points. Wow, there was a great short opportunity here for the bot to take. There was a long trade here. 